by the league to schedule it out this way. You want to reduce travel time as much as possible across the league. It's about keeping these players fresh when it's all said and done. Now Atlanta's starting five. We've got Trey Young. He's out there with Tim Hardaway. And it's Achimura in at the four. It's early in Rui Hachimura's career, but this young man has proven capable on the interior. He will never shy away from contact. Johnson, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Brooklyn with the ball. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. I really think the nail in the coffin was their missed free throws. That's usually an ominous sign. I thought the frustration at the line was evident, and it makes it easy on the defense when you're not capitalizing once they put you at the free throw line. Out to Achimura. For three, Hardaway sinks the tray. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Goes up at the elbow and is blocked. In transition, here they come. Hunter passes to Young. Offline with a three. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Outside Mitchell. From behind the arc. Hunter with the rebound. Atlanta has gone one or two from three-point land so far. For three, Hardaway. Here's Jaquez. Hits the trifecta. Listen, everyone knows what kind of shooter this guy is. Just his presence on the floor creates space. Here's Kidd. He really had an off game against the Bulls. A nice shot by Hudson. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Here's Hunter. Fades away and sinks a tough shot. No one there to contest. Didn't really need the fade. Here's Kidd, guarded by Young. Kidd with the bucket. <laughs> this dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. Young looking for an opening. Out to Achimura. For three, Hardaway. And the Hawks with another three. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. Pass to Hudson. Outside Mitchell. Here's Kidd, guarded by Young. Count that bucket. Kidd's got his second bucket of the game. For Atlanta, they've gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Here's Jaquez. Back to Young. Here's Achimura. Young, the pass to Jaquez. Just five on the clock. Shoots. And again, it's Atlanta. A jumper that is pretty and effective. Young's game starts with his shot. Aiden, a screen on Hardaway. Inside. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Conley's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Hachimura with a screen on Conley. A nice shot by Young. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Aiden, the screen on Hardaway. Here's Kidd. Here's Aiden. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. This guy a relentless force on the glass. DeAndre Aiden going to work and getting the putback. Here's Hunter. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Hunter's got the second bucket on the night. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Pass to Kid. And he lobs it up. And Aiton with the stuff. The elite athleticism from Mr. Aiton. No doubt on the dunk. Hunter with the ball. Stolen by Aiton. 
Here's Kim. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Rui Achimura. Oh, man, the defender really went after him. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Hawks? Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Hardaway, the pass to Young. On target from range. Young's got eight. <laughs> they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. Pass to Johnson. There's the screen by Johnson. Here's Mitchell. Connects on the foul line jumper. He's got five. Well, it's all about decision making in the pick and roll. And Donovan Mitchell making all the right choices. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. First chance at a three point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. At the line blocks. Hunter. One time for the line. Free throw no good for Hunter. Brooklyn trailing. A tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Team second. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Donovan Mitchell. At the line, two times. First one falls for him. Donovan Mitchell, just such a relentless scorer, and that high energy he brings is always a huge catalyst for whatever team he plays for. Bridges, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. It's tipped. They recover it. Outside Hardaway. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Hawk has no good. And Mitchell puts up a deep three. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. A big-time effort for Trey Young, providing a lot of energy for the Hawks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back after this word. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And for the Hawks guys, what jumps out to you statistically? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? And the Hawks, looking at who they've got, they've got DeJounte Murray, and it's Hawkes in its small forward. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Mikel Bridges is a premier defender. He said, quote, people take it for granted how tough it is to guard the top perimeter players in this league and not be able to really touch them because they're going to get the foul call. You've got to guard these matchups one-on-one, -on -one, and I think we get taken for granted. Oh, BA, he's on point. Yeah, he does have a point there. Thanks, Ali. So the Nets making a switch here. Isaac's checked in. Jonathan. Isaac. Brooklyn with the ball. Trailing by two. Tipped. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. Here's Conley. No made baskets yet. Mitchell, the pass to Bridges. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. First and one of the better defenders in the league, Grant, Mikhail Bridges. He'll lock you down. Oh, he will be a often matched up against the opponent's best score. And he is just so fierce. But he also helps you generate offense, hitting threes and extending the defense to create room to operate. And we've heard some, like Greg Popovich, say that three-pointers are becoming too prevalent. Doris, do you think they overwhelm other parts of the game? You know what? There is obviously a heavy emphasis on two things, three-point shooting and restricted area attempts. I think the feeling is the mid-range has been eliminated. But here's what I know, B.A. 
to win a playoff series, that mid-range game comes back into play. And again, I go back to the point that I have been consistent about. To me, the game is still in a great place. Second personal foul. Team second. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Mitchell against Murray. From about 16, Cooler on the bucket. Mitchell's got 12 points. So what a good feel for what the defense is conceding. Donovan Mitchell, very willing to get to that mid-range jumper. Black passes to Achimura. Over Isaac. And the basket by Achimura. And the Hawks lead by three. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And the foul called on the Atlanta Hawks. There's a physicality and a frame that Donovan Mitchell possesses that allows him to get himself to the free throw line. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing what they can to try to build some momentum. Pass to Hunter. Murray with it. Here's Black. He's guarded by Conley. Black, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. For three, Conley. The rebound by Murray. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. And he's in the books. Now one for two. The strength and body control. Jamal Murray fighting off the contact. The three from Mitchell. Rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got his sixth rebound on the night. Murray passes to Hawkins. And a strong finish with two hands. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Mitchell with the ball. Checked by Murray. Pass to Isaac. Five on the clock. From seven feet away, Bynum gets the bucket. Well, tremendous understanding from the young Jonathan Isaac. How about that awareness for the young guy? Here's Hunter. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the Nets making a change here. Free throw no good for Hunter. You know, when Isaac tore his ACL in 2019, it was a long road back for him, Doris. You know what, B.A., it's hard for me to imagine a young player experiencing more tough injuries than Jonathan Isaac. What I appreciate is his willingness to fight through whatever has been put before him. There's a real mental toughness and a real grit that this guy possesses and obviously a love for the game. That's the kid. And stolen by Murray! Here's Jaquez. Drills it from deep. Jaquez has got eight points in the quarter. Much more efficient this quarter. Feeling more and more confident. Here's Bynum. Hunter covering. From deep, Conley. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. They've got some ground to make up. And shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. It's blocked. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. And the basket by Achimura. Well, the team has preached to Rui Hachimura to be aggressive on the offensive end. That is the decisive decision-making they're looking for. The shot by Hudson, no good. Atlanta's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Hunter finds Hachimura. Another three for Atlanta. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Outside Conley. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. DeAndre Eaton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Donovan Mitchell comes in for Conley. Donovan Mitchell. Here's Black. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Jaquez. There's the triple. The offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. 
Mitchell against Murray. Shot to stop the run. Yes, sir! Mitchell from long range! The Spida is attacking right now. Very few guys can score it as quickly or as easily. And so it's Atlanta ending the quarter up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, they're winning with better offense. They're moving the ball well, getting high percentage shots. This is what efficiency looks like, guys. Near flawless execution, no doubt about it. But we still have another half to go. And we've got the playoff picture starting to come into focus now. So let's take a look at the Eastern Conference. And taking a look at Atlanta, you know, Halloween was a long time ago, but this team is still the scariest group in the league. They're striking fear into every team that has to go against them, Shaq. You're starting to scare me, Kenny. <laughs> oh, okay. That wasn't scary. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Well, the Nets shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Jonathan Isaac is out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Mitchell, and it's Kidd in at the point guard position. So that's the Nets five. Young, the pass to Murray. Over Mitchell. Murray, no good. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Pass to Isaac. Now here's Mitchell. Aiton, the screen on Murray. Mitchell, the pass to Aiton. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Boy, look at how natural DeAndre Ayton looks in the pick and roll. This guy is smart. He understands how to navigate. Murray from outside knocks down the triple. Murray's got seven. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Ayton, the screen on Murray. The three from Mitchell. Here's Isaac. They shoot again. Hunter with some nice D. Tries again, and that's two points on the layup. 12 points for him. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room in half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there. Halftime didn't do them any favors offensively. They've missed four of their last five shots. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Brooklyn timeout, calls timeout. timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. Taking a look at Atlanta. They're in the pole position right now for the top seed in the conference. And, of course, there's the Nets. Just need to keep fighting. Well, right now for the Hawks, they've been terrific throughout the regular season, showing they may be just the team to beat in the postseason. Isaac with a screen on Murray. A nice shot by Mitchell. Well, we know Mitchell can hurt you from outside the arc. The defense better recognize this moving forward. To the wing on the left. The three from Bamba. Fades back. Another one falls for Atlanta. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. The three from Mitchell, and he drains it, making him seven for 15 for the day. Boy, picking up where he left oh, off, his second from distance this half, five overall. Here's Kid. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Well, this is one of Bamba's big-time strengths. Send it back, Mo. Murray's shot is good. 
and just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score lock in on the moment and play the right way. Amazing individual performance, but you'd like to see more guys start to get involved. I don't know if he can do it alone. The fires in the triple. And the Hawks lead by 15. Yeah, defensively, if you come off someone, Young will find them. Well, Doris, it's special when you get a kid like Cam Johnson who can seriously stretch the floor. Well, B.A., we know how highly valued deep shooting is. Cameron Johnson from the three-point line is legit dangerous. He's supremely confident. But what I love is he can also put it on the deck. He can also be elite defensively. The best is yet to come from an already talented player. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Aiden, a screen on Murray. Here's Mitchell. The rebound by the Hawks. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. The hook shot. And the Hawks tack on two more. <laughs> hey, going old school with the hook shot. Nice job against a very tight defense. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Mitchell's got 10 points in the quarter. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Fires it from 18. Murray, no good. Brooklyn has gone two for five from three since halftime. Pass to Hudson. The three from Mitchell. Hunter with the rebound. Atlanta's gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Johnson on the wing, giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Young from long range. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And for so many teams in the NBA, establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. And DeJounte Murray is truly the complete package. He does a little of this and a little of that. Anything you need out there, he can make it happen. First free throw is good. And Murray drops them both. 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Hey, hey, yo, right here. Mitchell against Murray. He shoots. A nice shot by Mitchell. Mitchell's got 29. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Outside Johnson. Pass to Murray. Back to Johnson. Over Mitchell. And Johnson gets it to go on the assist by Murray. Johnson's got five points. Terrific court awareness there. Murray recognizes the open man and wastes no time getting him the ball. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. With one on the clock. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. And credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so it's Atlanta. A huge 24-point lead for them. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. All right, we'll get back to the action. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Fourth quarter, on the floor for the Hawks. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Mo Bamba out there with Johnson, and it's Hunter in at the center position. Well, obviously, this is where Mo Bamba is so dangerous. You make a mistake on the defensive end, he's going to take free throws. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Greg? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before, and these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Atlanta? Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. 
I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. From deep, Conley. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Young against Conley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his first foul of the game. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Here's Hudson, covered by Johnson. Unable to get that one. Atlanta's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Hunter. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. With so many recent number one picks and MVP winners being foreign-born players, Doris, the NBA truly feels like a global sport. It's wonderful, B.A., because when I think back historically, wouldn't NBA fans have loved the opportunity to have seen Arvidas Sabonis in his prime? He spent decades toiling over in the European leagues and was a dominant figure in the sport. But the idea that you could now get Luka Doncic or Mr. Wembenyama at such an early age and watch them unfold their NBA careers, it is fabulous. He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. Yep, I count it. Well, there's a certain level of quickness you've got to contend with. Mike Conley off the dribble drive. Young finds Bamba. Hunter with the ball. He's covered by Aiden. Fade away. Again, Atlanta. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. And how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Stolen by Conley. And now the Nets on the break. The pull-up J. And again, it's Brooklyn. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. Outside Murray. Launches it. Offensive rebound. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's Aiton. Out to Bridges. Jacks up a three. And the Nets another three. Well, in catch and shoot opportunities, you've got to have good feet and pre-shot preparation. Mikael Bridges, yes, sir. Young can't hit. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. From deep, Conley drops in the three. Conley's got five points now in the quarter. Now the D giving him a little bit of space beyond the three-point line, and that's all the room he One needs. The play. Fourth quarter. Hook shot on the way. And there's Hunter on the assist by Young. So few players still use the hook shot, but it's a tremendous weapon when done right. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Grant, you had to guard some of the greats in your career, including Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Who was the toughest to cover? Well, for the record, I didn't really like guarding any of them, if I'm being honest. But no one, in my opinion, tops Michael Jordan. Of course, I had to guard Kobe the most, and he was very relentless, had no weaknesses. And, you know, I was in my late 30s on one ankle. But, but who's counting? Count the basket. Even though he hasn't lit up the scoreboard, I like how he's keeping others involved. Pass to Aiden. Aiden, the screen on Young. And here's Mitchell. Fires the three. And that's collected by Trey Young. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Hawks. 
And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And all year, this squad has been playing with real urgency and determination. No surprise to see them hit 61 total wins. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Big Dog. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. Eight shots blocked. Young, the pass to Hunter. Back to Young. Pass to Mitchell from outside the arc. Knocks down the long tail. Mitchell's got 34. And normally Mitchell wants his shot head on. But you give him the corner and he will adapt. Young, the pass to Johnson. Misses the three. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling. And that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. So we see the Hawks taking the W here. Thanks, to walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, sure that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. Now let's check our New Balance Player of the Game.